I've honestly tried to film this intro now probably 10 times. There is so much noise and chaos in this house today. I can't even begin. But I filmed a food shopping haul this morning when our delivery arrived and I just wanted to get the intro filmed. Hopefully this might be the one where I actually get to film it properly. Don't climb on there. Elliot, that's not for climbing. It's chaos. It's savage at the moment. I've got two little boys under two. I've got a toddler who's 20 months and this little monkey is like five and a half months. Chaotic most of the time. But yeah, we are a family of four. And this is going to be a family of four food shop because Jasper here is now beginning to slowly do a little bit of weaning. Um, so yeah, we're all eating like the food that we buy in the food shopping hall. Um, this week's shop is going to be, I'm not going to say, no, we're not on a diet because I don't really believe in dieting, but we are like eating a bit cleaner, a little bit healthier. Um, so um, we're just trying to be a bit more conscious of what we eat. There's no like snacky bits this week because we are just really trying to stick to kind of like filling meals in the day if that makes sense rather than like snacking i want to have good substantial breakfast lunch dinner that kind of thing um so yeah there's not loads and we have still got stuff in the cupboard left over from christmas sorry this is a bit of a ramble but i thought i would explain that why there's not like anything like snacky in this video it's basically just meals this one like breakfast lunch dinner as i just said um so yeah it's going to be healthy ish family as i said jasper's starting to wean um so yeah, if you want to see what I picked up this week, then keep on watching. If you like content all about motherhood and life in between, I'd love it if you would become one of my subscribers and click the subscribe button down below for chaotic real life mum videos. Um, I do food shopping hauls at least once a month now because you guys seem to really like them. So yeah, with all that said, let's rewind to, I think it was eight o'clock this morning when our delivery arrived and see what we've got for the week. Um, we spent about 50 pounds. I think, I, I don't think I mentioned and like, I did have to buy toilet roll and stuff like that. So I reckon that the actual food content was more like 40 pounds. So yeah, not too bad this week. Um, so yeah, let's see what we got. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to film this. I've got my toddler on the floor with me, baby upstairs trying to go to sleep, he's tired. So if there's background noise, that is what you can probably hear. It is five past eight. The shopping has just turned up. I've just put it all out for you. Um, it isn't 10 to seven, by the way, on that clock. We need a new battery for it. It's gonna probably put me off now, but I just thought I'd explain it. It's not that time. Um, so yeah, it's not a huge shop, but this is what it looks like. So I'll just start here, because these are really easy. Um, so it's size four nappies for the boys. I do just put my um, five month old in these rather than Elliot, but they, they are both in the same size, I think I've said before. Um, so if I needed to, they could both wear them. I've got some nappy pants for Elliot. And then I've got some toilet rolls. These are the Cushel ones. Um, I used to buy like Tesco's or Aldi's ones, but life's too short to use cheap toilet paper. So uh, yeah, I get branded ones just because it's a bit more, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, you've got your cup there, haven't you? And your diluted squash. Elliot likes to have a bottle. He helps put the shopping away, don't you? Okay, so moving on over here. I've not got loads in terms of like fresh stuff or like fresh meat and stuff because um, I'm using some freezer stuff and that kind of thing. But I've got this 5% um, steak mince, uh, beef, beef mince. <laughs> I can't speak this morning. Um, I usually get like 10 or 15%, but because we're trying to be a little bit healthier now, this was also on offer. I've got the 5%, so it's just a little bit better for us. Um, so I'm going to try and use that now from now on, like 5%. So I'm going to do either a chilli or just some nice mince with that. And then I got this fish pie mix um self-explanatory i think it's got like salmon and some white fish uh yeah haddock and something else so yeah i'm gonna do a nice fish pie i've got some prawns in my freezer i might stick in too and i've got some potatoes over here to make that fish pie with and then um i also got these cod and chorizo fish cakes probably not the most healthy although we're trying to be healthy but i thought they sounded a bit different and we've not had that we've not tried these ones before then i got four tins of tuna just for the cupboard good for sandwiches that kind of thing they are on like an offer and then we needed some more ketchup just for the pantry really um and then this is what we've got in terms of like fruit and veg i haven't got loads of fruit this week because i've got some like peaches from last week that weren't ripe yet um, but i got a honeydew melon because that was on offer and then two lots of bananas because my toddler loves a banana Oh dear. 
Um, so yeah, like I say, not loads of fruit because there is still some from last week's shop that's not quite ready yet. And I've got a bag of lemons because I like to squeeze lemon juice in when I make a fish pie and just handy to have um, lemons all the time. And they were, I think they were on offer as well. And then I got some baby cucumbers again because my toddler really liked them. I'm also starting to wean Jasper um, so he can try some either some baby cucumber or I can cut a little bit of like normal cucumber up for him. So there's a normal one baby cucumber and then some baby plum tomatoes then as i said i've got a bag of mary piper potatoes so i can jacket them i can mash them i i think they're kind of like all rounder ones then we've got one two three avocados just because i'm trying to get some healthy fats into my toddler and um, he's been having a bit of ongoing tummy trouble so um I spoke about that before, so I'm trying to increase his fat intake, like healthy fats. And he loves avocado, as do we all. Then I got some baby leaf spinach, because I like this as like a salad. It also just gets thrown into all of our like cooking, because it's like really mild in flavour. Elliot kind of eats it, so that's a good green vegetable for us all to have. And then I got some tender stem broccoli. I got two of them, because they were in this three for two. And then I got some fine beans as well. Um, so they'll be like served with that fish pie or uh, like the mince. I take it, good boy. Try to put it up there. I'll put it there for you. I'll get you some more in a minute, okay? And then some carrots, just a bag of carrots. So yeah, not heaps because we do have stuff left over from Christmas, like not Christmas, but like we did big shops in the last few weeks. Um, so that's all of the like fresh stuff. And then I got um, my husband a loaf of bread. He's got the white bread, and then I've got the um, multi-seed batch. I've got some bread in the freezer for my toddler, because he's sort of on like a gluten-free diet, so I've got some of, that's why I haven't got him any this week. And then I got this super smooth porridge. I've been buying this loads lately. Elliot's been having this. I have it sometimes, and then now that I'm gonna wean my baby, that's perfect for him too. So that's like a good all-round family breakfast. What you've seen, you've seen your breakfast, then every week get the same Yorkshire tea, loose one, um, same milk as every week, six pints of blue for Elliot, four green for us. Then I got some mozzarella because, um, like I said, I've got some prawns in my freezer and I'm going to do like a prawn and greeny or a, like oven baked thing and I'm going to throw some mozzarella in there. Um, so that's like the Creamfields Tesco's branded one. And then I got some halloumi because I'm going to do like a grilled halloumi salad one day, uh, one evening for lunch. Um, so I didn't get any other hard cheeses this week. I know, I know, you're being a good boy. And then I got these Actimil kids. One is peach and one is strawberry and banana. As I mentioned a minute ago, uh, my toddler Elliot has been having some tummy troubles and um, I just thought I might try some like um, tummy boosting yogurt type things and while they're on offer I thought I'd see if he likes them they're like um, drinks so I might have to put in a sippy cup otherwise he'll probably get it all down here or like dish it up in a bowl I'm not really sure and um, so yeah I got both the flavours peach and strawberry and banana while they were on offer for him and then I just got some Greek style yogurt we get this every week Elliot always eats it as I said my babies sorry about the noise guys but if you've got a young family you know um yeah my baby can try that as well while he's weaning and then um I got this anchor butter I also I got the lighter one this week um just because we're trying to be a little bit healthier um and this was I think that was on offer as well this week the um smaller 500 grams of butter um, so yeah, that is basically everything. Okay, that is the food shopping haul. Um, yeah, it wasn't a big one and I've got stuff, I always have stuff in my freezer and my pantry if we get like really low. But um, I think in terms of meals this week, I am gonna tell you what we're having. We're gonna have the fish cakes with either rice or mashed potato and some of the veg that we've got, like the tender stem broccoli. Then we're gonna have the fish pie another night. Obviously that's got like potato in it. So that will just be with a portion of um, vegetables or I've got, I know I've got tins of beans in the pantry. Jasper is like obsessed with what his brother's doing. Um, we're gonna have the mince. That can either be with like spaghetti or rice. That usually makes two nights worth of meals. So if I cook that like Tomorrow, I'll probably have that again in the middle of the week or I can stick it in the freezer. Um, we're going to have jacket potatoes one night. We're going to have a halloumi salad. So that takes us up to about five meals. And then if I have the mince as leftovers, that's six. 
and then i know i've definitely got something in my freezer um, i've got some eggs in the cupboard for like an omelette and salad because i've got some of those like cucumber and tomatoes like a scrimp and save week this week just trying to like use up what we've got because i also don't really like wasting food um so yeah that's just a quick run through of like the meals that we're gonna have um, then obviously i've got the lunches um like tuna sandwiches um, we've got cheese in the fridge from, left over from last week and then breakfast we've got the toast or we can have that porridge um, and we've also got Weetabix in the cupboard so yeah I know that some people do like a massive haul um, but we do have stuff left over if that makes sense hopefully I'm not like compl talking complete random stuff um, but I thought I'd explain that for you so yeah oh there you are yeah I'll read you Bibu now okay